In the 13th century, explorer Marco Polo mentioned in his travelogue, The Travels of Marco Polo, that Madagascar was home to giant birds. These birds were believed to be massive raptors that could seize elephants and fly away, possibly inspiring the mythical creature, Roc. In reality, the birds Polo described were members of the Epiornis genus, also known as elephant birds, reaching heights of 3 meters and weighing 500 kilograms. Despite being flightless herbivores, the eggs of these elephant birds were much larger than ostrich eggs and sparked the imagination of many Arab merchants. Even more astounding is that just a few hundred years ago, Madagascar was home not only to giant elephant birds but also to gorilla-sized lemurs. The intriguing question remains, how did such fascinating evolution occur on this isolated island? If you thought the movie Madagascar was interesting, wait until you hear about the real creatures of Madagascar. Their evolutionary story is even more fascinating. Let's dive in. Situated in Southeast Africa, Madagascar is an exceptionally unique island from its very origins. While it may appear to have separated and formed from the African continent due to its proximity, about 100 million years ago, a piece of the western side of the Indian plate separated and became the present-day Madagascar. Depending on how you look at it, one could even say that this is part of Asia. Madagascar not only has unique features in its formation, but also in terms of climate. The hot and humid winds blowing in from the Indian Ocean are blocked by the central mountain range, leading to lush jungles on the eastern side of the island. On the western side, there is a distinct savanna climate with clear, dry, and rainy seasons. Lastly, the south experiences a desert climate with very little rainfall. Being an isolated region like the Australian oh. continent, Madagascar has its own endemic species. As mentioned earlier, the elephant bird is also one of the unique species found only on the island. At first glance, it might seem likely that an African ostrich crossed the sea and established itself in Madagascar before growing in size. However, surprisingly, the closest relative to the elephant bird is the kiwi bird that inhabits New Zealand. While these places are quite far apart, it feels almost impossible, doesn't it? In 2014, Dr. James Mitchell, an evolutionary biologist from the University of Adelaide in Australia, traced the origins of the elephant bird based on DNA extracted from its bones. The result revealed that around 160 million years ago, when Madagascar and Oceania were part of a supercontinent called Gondwana, the common ancestor of the elephant bird and the kiwi used to inhabit these green regions. As Madagascar and Oceania separated over time, the common ancestor of these birds diversified into the kiwi in New Zealand and the elephant bird in Madagascar. In simple terms, the elephant bird was more closely related to the kiwi than to the ostrich. But that's not all. Though extinct now, Madagascar was once home to small and adorable hippos. They were much smaller in size compared to the typical hippopotamus and resembled pygmy hippos. It remains unclear how these pygmy hippos arrived in Madagascar, as it seems unlikely that they swam across 400 kilometers of ocean. The prevailing theory suggests that they might have traveled through the northern Comoros Islands or crossed during a period when sea levels were lower. Furthermore, while the Nile crocodile is now the apex predator in the rivers of Madagascar, in ancient times, a five-meter-long native crocodile used to rule the rivers. Its name was Voe robustus, a unique species of crocodile that sported horns on the back of its head. Evolutionary biologist Dr. Bickelman proposed a different perspective on the crocodiles. Instead of the traditional view that the Voye and Nile crocodile coexisted and competed, she suggested that the Voye went extinct around 1,000 years ago, allowing the Nile crocodile from mainland Africa to migrate and establish itself in Madagascar without any competition. Additionally, the skies of Madagascar were once dominated by massive native raptors called giant crowned eagles that preyed on lemurs. This eagle also migrated to Madagascar from Africa, evolving into a species with nearly double the weight after its arrival. This giant raptor disappeared about 500 years ago. However, American primatologist Patricia Wright suggests that traces of this massive predator still linger in the behavior of today's lemurs. One such trace is their alarm calls. 
Although large lemurs like Sifaka have no current predators, when smaller birds such as the Madagascar buzzard or the Madagascar harrier hawk appear, lemurs are observed making alarm calls. Dr. Wright found that this behavior of bird threat sound alarms was most likely an evolutionary trait that carried on from lemurs that were wary of the now extinct giant crowned eagle. Including extinct animals, 80% of present-day creatures in Madagascar are unique species found only on the island. The most iconic animals are the fossa and the lemur. The fossa, often mistaken for a member of the cat family due to its resemblance to a puma, actually belongs to the Madagascar carnivora and is an endemic species found only in Madagascar. Around 25 million years ago, a common ancestor of mongooses from Africa reached Madagascar. They underwent various adaptations, with some evolving into the apex predator fossa and others diversifying into minor mongoose species. Considering the fossa as a natural enemy of lemurs, it suggests that lemurs had already established themselves in Madagascar long before the arrival of the fossa and makes lemurs the oldest residents on the island. Every lemur species in the world is exclusively native to Madagascar. Around 50 to 60 million years ago, a primate from Africa journeyed to Madagascar on a naturally formed raft. Afterward, on this island where ecological niches were abundant, they underwent adaptive radiation diversifying into more than 100 species across eight families. Among them, the most primitive-looking creature is the peculiar-looking eye-eye. Using its long third finger, the eye-eye taps on trees to locate the position of insect larva. Once it finds its food, the eye-eye makes holes in the bark with its front teeth and uses its slender fingers to extract and eat the larva. More than a thousand years ago, Madagascar was home to lemurs as large as male gorillas. This included a gigantic version of the eye, eye that was introduced earlier. Additionally, there used to be a massive primate that resembled the present-day Indri. It was called Archaeoindris fontoinanti and had a weight exceeding 160 kilograms with a stature resembling modern gorillas. A giant lemur known as Megalodapus edwardsi was informally known as a large koala lemur and roamed the jungle. Another huge lemur called Pachylemur insignis, akin to today's Sifaka lemurs, was also found in the spiky forests of southwestern Madagascar. One intriguing aspect is that traces of these giant animals can be found not only in bone fossils, but also in the modern plants of Madagascar's oh. forests. In the southwestern part of Madagascar, there is a unique ecological area known as Spiny Forest. True to its name, most of the plants here have sharp and thick spines. Even if we look at the representative Dididracea family alone, their relatives on the African mainland don't have spines. So why is it that only plants in Madagascar developed spines? In 2013, paleoecologist Dr. Brooke Crowley claimed that the sharp spines of these plants were an adaptive trait to protect themselves from giant primates that once lived here. Dr. Crowley discovered a significant match in the carbon isotope ratios between the bones of extinct giant lemurs and the spiky plants. This indicates that the oh. giant lemurs primarily consumed spiky plants as their main food source. However, despite the sudden disappearance of giant lemurs that ate these plants around a thousand years ago, the spiky plants continue to bear spines on their bodies, as if they are prepared for a predator that no longer exists. Science journalist Connie Barlow refers to this phenomenon as evolutionary anachronism, where traits related to coevolution persist even after one of the interacting species has gone extinct. Earlier, we discussed the alarm calls of lemurs which also align with this phenomenon. However, if you've been watching the video, you might have a question. Why did animals like elephants, hippos, and giant lemurs all disappear at the same time? Some scientists suggest that around 2,500 to 4,000 years ago, the gradual drying of Madagascar's climate was a cause of extinction. However, many scientists argue that humans who settled in Madagascar around 1,200 years ago accelerated the extinction of giant animals. In 2012, geneticist Professor Cox from New Zealand published a paper tracing the mitochondrial DNA of Malagasy people, 
The results suggested that the first settlers on the island were not Africans, but a group of roughly 30 Southeast Asian women who sailed from Indonesia around 1,200 years ago. He speculated that a trade ship heading from Indonesia to India got caught in ocean currents, leading it to drift and eventually reach Madagascar. It makes sense considering Malagasy, the official language of Madagascar, is derived from Malay Polynesian in Southeast Asia. The main crops here, rice and bananas, are also cultivated in Southeast Asia. Additionally, traces of Southeast Asian influence can be faintly seen in the faces of the indigenous people. In any case, it suggests that human settlers who established themselves in Madagascar 1200 years ago hunted giant animals. There is supporting evidence for this claim. In 2018, archaeologist Professor Anderson from New Zealand discovered signs of humans killing giant lemurs from their bones. In some sediment layers, he also found evidence of humans starting fires, charcoal, to clear forests for settlement. He suggests that human hunting and habitat destruction pushed already dwindling populations of giant lemurs, elephant birds, and hippos closer to the brink, exacerbated by environmental changes. This is a scientific story about the fascinating experiment of evolution on an isolated island that separated from the Indian continent around 160 million years ago. Sometimes scientific facts can be more interesting than the wild fantasies found in fiction. Science is a window to the world, and this has been Science Dream. Thank you 